With the regular season coming to a close next week, it has me thinking of some players who have over and underperformed. And in today's video, I want to take a look at five big disappointments from the 2022 season. Now real quick before we get into the video, I'm not really ranking these in any order, I'm just naming off five players. And I also just want to let you guys know that I'm going to try to eliminate players who have had significant injuries or ailing injuries throughout the season. I just want to focus on players who have, for the most part, been healthy. So with that in mind, let's get right into the video. The first player we're going to be looking at today is Nicholas Castellanos. Castellanos is coming off the best season of his career in which he was named to the All-Star team and finished just outside of the top 10 in MVP voting. Last year in Cincinnati, he had 34 home runs to go along with 100 runs driven in, and he was a big free agent on the market. And the Phillies ended up signing him to a 5-year, $100 million deal. And with a contract like this, obviously there's going to be high expectations. But unfortunately for Castellanos and the Phillies, he has been a huge disappointment. So far this year in 128 games, Castellanos is hitting 265 to go along with 13 home runs, 7 stolen bases, and a 702 OPS. And as I'm sure many of you know, Castellanos over his career has been much better than this as he has a career 802 OPS which is 100 points higher than this year's 702. On top of that, he has a negative .3 war so he has really been hurting the Phillies more than he's been helping them. There is no doubt that Castellanos is a very good player but there is also no doubt that he's been a massive disappointment this season. Moving on to the next player I want to talk about today, I have Trevor Rogers. Rodgers is coming off an incredible rookie campaign in which he pitched in 133 innings and had a 2.67 ERA. He was named to the All-Star team and finished second in the National League Rookie of the Year voting. So coming into this year, expectations were sky high for Rodgers. He was expected to take another leap forward and be one of the best pitchers in the National League. But obviously Rodgers has not lived up to the hype as this year in 107 innings he is 4-11 to go along with a 5.47 ERA and a 1.51 whip. And Rodgers' bad play this season is just so unfortunate considering the Marlins were leaning on him heavily to give them some good solid innings this year. I was really big on the Marlins coming into this season, in fact I had them making the postseason and winning 85 plus games but they have been one of the league's most disappointing teams and it's in large part to Trevor Rogers. Now I don't want to put too much of the blame on Rogers. they have other players who have underperformed as well, but there is no doubt in my mind the Marlins would be a much better team if Rogers pitched like he did last year. Moving on to the next disappointing player, I have Spencer Torkelson. Now this is a tough one because Torkelson is a rookie and I don't want to put too much pressure on him this early on but he was a top 5 prospect in baseball and he was said to be MLB ready. So far on the year, Torkelson in 102 games is hitting 205 to go along with 6 home runs and he also has a negative 1.2 war. So similar to Nick Castellanos, Torkelson has been more bad than good for the Tigers. But one big reason as to why I think so many people look at Torkelson as such a disappointment is because he's being compared to players like Julio Rodriguez and Bobby Witt Jr. who are fellow rookies who are having ridiculous seasons. So while it may be unfair to compare him to those two right now, there were some comparisons to those two early on in the season where people were picking Torkelson over both of them to win the Rookie of the Year. So while Torkelson has definitely been a big disappointment for the Tigers this year, I think going forward he's going to be just fine and I think he's going to find his stride in the big leagues sooner rather than later. Moving on to the next player, I have Torkelson's teammate in Javier Baez. Baez is coming off a great 2021 season where in 138 games between the Cubs and the Mets he hit 265 to go along with 31 home runs, 18 stolen bases, and an 813 OPS. And of course, after the 2021 season, Baez was a free agent and he ultimately decided to sign with the Tigers on a 6-year, $140 million deal. So the Tigers were expecting a very good version of Javier Baez who could flirt with 30 home runs and 20 stolen bases. But unfortunately for Baez, like many of his teammates, has been a huge disappointment as in 136 games he's hitting 241 to go along with 15 home runs, 9 stolen bases, and a 674 OPS. So those numbers don't look like $140 million numbers. So while Baez has been a big letdown for the Tigers this year, he still has 5 more years to prove himself and live up to the $140 million contract he signed this offseason. And getting on to the 5th and final player of today's video, I have Cody Bellinger. This is also a very tough one because Bellinger has been a lot better than last season. 
but I feel like there were many fans across baseball that were expecting Bellinger to sort of get back to his all-star level. In fact, his last full season was back in 2019 where he won the National League MVP where he hit 47 home runs and had a 1035 OPS. And I really don't think people were expecting him to get anywhere close to that level, but like I said before, even all-star caliber would be a success for Bellinger this year. But so far, in 135 games, he's hitting 205 to go along with 17 home runs, 14 stolen bases, and a 646 OPS. He is taking steps forward and getting a little bit better from last year's disastrous season, but it's still really not a great season this year. He has double-digit home runs and stolen bases, so he has been contributing a little bit, but you would still like to see more from Bellinger. I don't know, Cody Bellinger is a tough one for me. You could really argue this one, and I really wouldn't have an issue with it. I don't want to be hard on Bellinger, but in my eyes, he's been a bit of a disappointment. But anyways, that's going to wrap today's video up. Let me know what you guys think down below. As always, I want to thank you guys again so much for watching and continuing to support, and I'll see you next time.